Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. Do you think Dance's execution was justified? It's quite obvious Dance was a traitor. Or at the very least, a turncoat in the making. That machine's presence was endangering this ship and its crew. So it needed to be dealt with, swiftly and without mercy. Your actions in this matter were not only justified, they were vital to our mission. With all of that behind us, we can shift our focus back to our wartime preparations. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the Railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the Railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help Synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the Synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the Railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the Railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put PAM's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. Anything useful you can tell me about Pam? We have very little information on it. Its primary function is supposed to be using mathematical calculations in order to predict future events. I have no idea how successful it was, but if the Railroad's been using Pam for this long, it's got to be providing them with some sort of benefit. I'm sure Proctor Quinlan would be pleased to have it in his possession. I think that should be sufficient information to assist you on the mission, Paladin. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. If you're no good at hacking Pam's systems, you should take someone with you who can. Well, welcome back, my darlings. <laughs> and it begins. Okay. Here we go. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows 
just know you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Say I make you nervous, a tragedy I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning You wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be safe Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change, never change oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars But it always ends the same Can't bear the things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change, never change oh. You break your back to make me feel again I 
stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know only fools dread with the angels Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change Oh, they say I should feel guilty and change my ways Leaving crumple bodies in my wakes Where I didn't mean to make them break Where I didn't mean to make them break But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change, never change Active Hypotheses Nanoblood Atmosphere Baxter Aliens Are Real Our Own Bessie Deacon Time Travel Conjecture Mutating Water Theory If I really were a time traveler, would I let a timeline exist where you knew that I knew? D. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Disproved theories. Center of Earth black hole, 98% synth infiltration. Nuka-Cola strawberry. And Monty's theory. Spikes delivering enough kinetic energy to be well into the lethal range. But cooling unit keeps failing. Melted three times. Treated Terry for first-degree burns. Got the reload time down with liquid nitrogen. Delayed for Terry's hypothermia treatment. Upped velocity. Can't find the spike. Getting close, I can feel it. Excellent. It'll be okay, kitty. Don't worry. It's okay, little kitty. Aspire to be. 
Thank you, Codsworth. That means a lot. Uh, no thanks necessary, Mum. I wouldn't hear of it. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn itself around, you're the one to do it. Now, not another word. I stand firm in my belief. Let's get back to it. Don't much care for them. That place is nothing but Over there. I'll get it done. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. What's going to happen to their headquarters? The location doesn't hold tactical significance, so we'll simply post a small squad there, in case any stragglers choose to return. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorian. units at 30 second intervals as requested. Recon report. Knight Wagner recording. It appears the intel claiming the old CIT ruins house an entrance to the Institute was incorrect. My scouts and I spent days combing the location for a way in and turned up nothing other than a couple of minor casualties. When a contingent of synths boxed us into an old tunnel where we were sniffing around, my immediate recommendation would be to follow the trail back on whoever provided that intel. I suspect some wastelander is feeding Proctor Quinlan lies to earn some caps. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from Feral. Now that all the crates have been unloaded, and I'm looking at the wreckage of Liberty Prime, I'm just starting to grasp the daunting task ahead. Maxon doesn't just want him restored. He wants me to make improvements on the original design. I have all the schematics from the Citadel's databanks, 
and I've been studying them ever since we left the Capital Wasteland. I just hope I can get this all this work done in time. Work is progressing at a rapid pace. My engineering team is doing a heck of a job refitting his damaged parts. Unfortunately, the metalworking, the electrical wiring, and the limb assembly. All of that's the easy part. The real problem is with his power system. I've shorted out two CPUs already, and they don't exactly grow on trees. If I can't work these power problems out, Prime won't be any more than a pretty metal statue. Thanks to our new recruit, we were able to get a specialist on site to lend a hand with the power problems. It only took them a short time to get everything figured out. Now Prime's CPU has a nice steady flow of power that should remain stable when we fire up his fusion core. Next on the list is getting electromagnetic actuators built for his legs. Prime's old arms and legs ran off of a liquid feed hydraulic system. Unfortunately, we've redesigned the arms and legs to accommodate his new frame, and they're almost twice as heavy. The only thing strong enough to drive those limbs would be electromagnetic actuators. Fortunately, our new recruit was able to use our workbench facility to build them for us. All that remains now is getting Prime's arms and legs attached arming him with bombs, and getting his core started. Our new recruit came through again by finding us an old weapons disposal facility full of Mark 28 nuclear bombs. We have more than enough to equip Prime for his upcoming mission. The last step is starting up his fusion core with a beryllium agitator. Once that device is plugged in, we can pull the big guy off life support and send him on his way. I have never read that terminal before, I don't think. Hey, old paladin. You look like you've been through the ringer, paladin. I can't say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. If we're going to defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. Wait, how can the beryllium agitator start up his reactor? If Prime's reactor is a campfire, the beryllium agitator is like a match. Strike it, throw it on the logs, and the whole thing ignites. Fusion reactors need a massive power surge in order to get the reaction started. Once it starts, it's self-sustaining. I'm sure I could get one of my scribes to bore you to death with the details, but you get the gist. And I'm betting you know right where to find it. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. Well, it would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby waiting to drop us off on the roof of the mass fusion tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands.
might want to hang on, sir. The drop can be a little rough. Never could get used to flying in these things. It's a hell of a view, isn't it? Even with all this fog. And it is a foggy day, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, the mysterious stranger comes out of nowhere. Sweet. Y'all, you, you don't even, you can't hit them from here. Go inside. Get in there right now. What y'all doing? Did you get him, Ada? Did you get him? Did you find him? Got it. Alright, 
I think I need a card for this elevator if I remember correctly. Which I probably do. And if I do, then the key card would be up on the second Looking floor. Oh. Yeah. Looks like the elevator I needs some kind of a key card. It's upstairs, I'll go get it. Key card, eh? Bet that's gonna come in handy. Let's go. As you go down, 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 you're gonna burn in hell. No evil, don't you hear? No evil, don't you see? No evil. I don't even remember which way the words go. I just remember the tune. It's a good song. Oh man, the Institute is pissed off at me. They want this power thing bad. Six eighty eight is out there somewhere just waiting for me. He's just he's been waiting for an opportunity. I need to get me some mirrors for my armor just that will like the uh, some sort of reflective material flex lasers back at the shooters Oh my lord, hey you, stop shooting at me. thing. I don't even remember what we need. We need something. It's a thing. I'll find it. Oh, to, to restore power, I think. I think so. Yeah, it's to restore power for the elevator. Or I could just jump down. Nice. Right here. Might not be as cushy as an elevator ride, but at least we'll be headed in the right direction. True story. Up. Oh. And then I could go more down. I have to shoot some synths on my way. Ugh. Oh. Hush. You go down. Good night. 
I can't hit the broad side of a frickin' barn. And now, hey, you, with the baton. That was very rude. Just run up and hit me with your baton. Ooh, I, I see a mini nuke. I like mini nukes. They are my friend. I don't want to go out there. Why, why do you have, oh, probably from other quests. That's why. Okay, well, I'm not doing that right now. I have to go more down. And more down. Oh my dear god. How far down do I have to go? Like, really far? I think, yeah, because I have to, like, get... All the way down. Okay, well, I found a bunch of synths all chilling out here, sitting around drinking frickin' tea, having them some biscuits, acting like, acting like English motherfuckers, because they're synths, that's why. Ugh. We had an X-12 plasma caster. That's why he was hurting me. Somebody's real mad at me. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah. They're like, well, my experiment has failed miserably. Go kill her. Statistically speaking, your survival is improbable. <laughs> Statistically speaking, I've already killed how many of you? And you're all like, I don't know. Now I understand Statistically why speaking. I don't fear death from you. Well, I mean, it could happen. I can't hit the broad side of a barn. But, but. With the most they were wise, you flee. I didn't flee. Okay, I'm trying to get somewhere to do something. I've got things to do, and I can't just focus on you and your needs, all right? Jenny, have you given any thought to my proposal? You haven't said anything to me in over a week, and now I'm afraid I've scared you away. I'll wait for you in the cafeteria after work if you want to meet. It's been weeks now, and you keep avoiding me. Why? Why are you tormenting me like this? You keep saying you have plenty of time to decide, but I feel like our time is running out. Please, Jenny, I need an answer. Jenny, I'm sick and tired of all this waiting. I have plenty of others lining up to take your place, you know. The fact that you keep leading me on only makes me think you're beginning to enjoy watching me get upset. Well, guess what? If you don't let me know soon, I'm moving on to someone else. I've been a fool, Jenny. An impatient, impolite fool. I've been bothering you for months about my proposal, when I should have simply waited for your answer. I've made all sorts of false accusations and assumptions. For that, I'm sorry. Take as long as you want, Jenny. Maybe after the holidays you can give me your answer. For now, let's just remain friends and not let anything else come between us. Well then... Is that... Down we go. Is someone present? Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Well, that was polite. 
But that was not. Alright. Bye. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Maybe. Mm -mm. You must be a Gen 1 synth. Order your very own Mass Fusion branded hats, shirts, shorts, swimsuits, umbrellas, neckties, cufflinks, socks, tumblers, shot glasses, coffee mugs, and more. Please see Eric Roanoke in HR for details. Attention all employees. Due to the unfortunate sit-in protest in the main lobby by members of the public, new security measures are being implemented immediately. Please be sure to carry your ID card on you at all times and stay within your designated areas. Do not exit the building using any door other than those designated as standard exits. Do not provide anyone with your login passwords or use of your terminal. Any deviation from these restrictions will result in immediate termination of your position at Mass Fusion. All employees are invited to the 2077 Holiday Celebration. We'll be holding the festivities on the roof of our main headquarters this year, so you'll be able to dine with a loved one while overlooking our beautiful city. A full bar and live music will be on hand, as well as a special fireworks display at 10 p.m. Hope to see you there. <laughs> All right, should we stop dicking around now? Maybe, maybe. No, nope, that's the wrong door. Um. Where's the right door? Where's the right place? Look, y'all, I gotta get, I gotta go down, okay? I gotta go down. Not like that, like this, thank you. This, down. Down the stairs, down a level. Down. Sweet. Income box. Wee. That poor little gunner. I mean, you know, I would have probably shot him too, but... You know. Well, because he would shoot at me. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, let him? You know? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if people are gonna shoot at you, you gotta shoot back. You know? 
I don't believe in this whole pacifist thing. Turn the other cheek. Yes. Why? So they can shoot me in that one too? It's going to be difficult finding anything useful in this mess. So that wasn't the right down. There's another down somewhere. I just gotta find it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I have an idea. Um. Uh. There's little protectrons. This is connected to something. What's it connected to? Is it turrets? Mm. Eh. I don't want. I don't feel like guessing. Ah, somebody hacked the computer hey, for yes, me. See what you can do. Certainly. Let me get that terminal. Unlocked That's why I you. gave you a hacking module. I was so. Well Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ada. I didn't have to guess. Oh, th we saw this out at the other desk. Security intramail. Hmm. Please inform your security officers that Dr. Noel Chandrao is no longer welcome on Mass Fusion property. If he's seen within 100 yards of the building, please inform me immediately. Turret control and protect Ron control. Cool. We'll just activate everything and hope it doesn't shoot us. You know, we'll, we'll have hope in one hand and shit in the other and we'll see what fills up first. I'm just saying. Here we go. Look guys, I found an elevator. Come on. Come on everybody. We're going down. Without any elevator music. We did it. Well, not not really, but we're here. Fusion's reactor. Don't make them like that anymore. If there's anything you need, I'd be happy to comply. I just want to see what's on this side. Yeah, it goes down too. But that one's blocked, I think. Anyway, let's go. I was just curious. I needed to know. Oh, there's 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 robots in there. They want to fight me. Not yet, but they do. They're just, they're biding their time. They're biding their time before they get me. Ada, Ada, where are you? Ada. Oh, damn it, Ada. She wandered off. She does that sometimes. Lurking Citadel decried. There's a story in there somewhere. Genghis. <gasps> Genghis Khan. Genghis was a sheriff with patches. Ooh. Today we embark on a new frontier. Once the switch on the reactor is thrown and the beryllium agitator cold starts the fusion reaction, the reality of clean power nuclear energy will be upon us all. As the research lead on the project, I'd like to thank you all for contributing to the cause. Good luck.
and Godspeed. Shadow Fiend looks for a safe corner and draws both of his snake bite daggers. He crouches and says, Tamash, there's something amiss here. Shadow Fiend instantly hurls his daggers at the slithering form and yells out, Gandar, above you, my friend. I got a 16 for the first dagger and a 7 for the second. Shadow Fiend removes his hand crossbow from its leather holster, slots in a clip of bolts plus two, and takes careful aim at the creature. Using his power of true sight, he attempts to aim at the creature's weak point and fires. Got a 3, a 19, and a 12. Damn, lousy rolls. I um, don't want to activate them because they will attack me and I don't feel like it. Uh, uh, uh. I need to find a way to turn them off is what I need to Like, they're not activated currently, but they get activated and I... Couldn't have done it better myself. I just wonder if there's a way to stop that. All right, well. These guys were playing D&D &D by computer, obviously. They was having a little dungeon. They were, I bet they were so cute. And they're playing Dungeons and Dragons on their computers, like through email. Ooh, hazmat suit. You know what I'm saying? That's so cute. Bum bum, ba dum bam. Ooh, nice find. Why is there so many fedoras in Fallout 4? What is going on? <laughs> this is, it's got to be a joke. Like it's got to be, it's got to be the, the developers joking about like the type of people that play the game, right? That's got to be a joke. It's got to be like a head nod, you know, like a nod to, to, the, you know. It's just funny. Because, let's be honest, you know, it's not, like, I don't wear fedora. <laughs> I've been playing the game for a long time. Not just Fallout 4, but Fallout in general. Ada. Need your expertise. Certainly. Let me get that terminal unlocked for you. Thank you. You're so cool. It's got top tier security, but I uh -oh. won't let it stop me from trying. Hmm. Maybe if I tried this. Is it really tough? It looked really let tough. Let me try something else. Get it, Ada. You could do it. I believe in you. I nope, have faith in you. That's not it. Nope. I'm afraid the security on this terminal has gotten the better of me. Aw. It's okay. Thanks for trying. You tried so hard. You tried so hard and came so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Yes. Cool. An inn. Well, we've seen that that one before. That's the security intra mail. Ooh. Oh. I was so excited to, and then it didn't even work. I keep yawning, and I'm trying not to yawn into the microphone. I'm like, hey. 
Look at all that. Sheesh. All right, guys. I'm trying to disable security, okay? But I'm having problems. I just, I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I'm trying. Just hang on. Hmm. We've seen that one. Hmm. Radiation level 153 rads per second. Gandar heeds Shadow Fiend's warning and attempts to sidestep the attack he's expecting. At the same time, he takes a mighty swing with his blade. Looks like I got an 18. Not bad. Gander draws his demon blade, demon bane. Oh, it's a demon bane blade. From its scabbard and waits for Tamash's incantation to take effect. He carefully watches the room for any signs of movement. He needed to make a perception roll. And he didn't. Beginner mistake. Gandar backs off from the creature, realizing that the Hellspawn is made of pure magic and his weapons would be useless. My friends... Magic is the only thing that can stop this creature of darkness. He kneels down and says a quick prayer to Bashlar, God of Steel. I wonder how that worked. Well, that's where I gotta go. I gotta go get radiated. 153 rads per second. Radiation levels are dangerously high in there. Yeah, Let no me know if you kidding. need any radiation protection. Oh, I'll God. communicate with you through their intercom system while I monitor everything. I've got some. And, you know, I can wear a hazmat suit, but I probably won't. I'll probably just run in and do it quick. If you just run in and do it quick, you have time. You just have to take rad away at the right points. And make sure you're using your rad X. And just go straight there, do the thing, do not mess around. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Okay, you just, you straight to it. Hmm. Save control. I already unlocked it. I can activate a Protectron, but it might attack me. I don't really know. Mm -mm -mm. Oh dear, what could the matter be? Oh dear, what could the matter be? Okay, Ada, I gotta go get irradiated now. I got If I turn into a glowing potato... Oh. If I turn into a glowing potato, I just want you to know and tell everybody else, thanks for everything. Okay, I got my hazmat suit. That'll help. Ah, look at how cute it is. It's cute. I think everything's cute. I think everything's cute, Proctor including Ava. you. Looks pretty dangerous in there. You have enough radiation protection on you? Yep, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I've got it covered. Well, take these extra doses of Radex anyway. Can't hurt. You know, okay. this was a nuclear research facility. If you look around, I'm sure you can find something that'll do the trick. Don't worry, I got a hazmat suit on. I even put it on. I'm proud of myself. Usually I don't even put it on. I just collect it and I'm like, ooh, look, I have these pretty little suits that would do me really good things against radiation. But I don't think I'll ever wear them. Huh? 
I'll just carry it around just in case I ever decide to. But this time I'm wearing it. I'm proud of myself. Hosing me down. I'll be grateful for that on the way out. Okay, gotta go straight there. Agitator should be in a port at the top of the reactor. Yes, it is. Look at that radiation. Alright, let's take some rat away. That is climbing. Burley and Magitator, we got it. Ah, yeah, I know, I know. I gotta get out of here. Hang on. Oh my god. There's so much radiation. I'm gonna grow another head. And maybe a two lungs and a fish tail. Decontamination complete. There we go. Uh, Attention, this is now a contact. Yep. I need me a different gun. Good job, Ada. I don't know what to do, Debbie. I had Jenny from Mainframe Control up on three in here, and she was crying on my shoulder about that guy Victor in records. He keeps asking her to adopt his stupid puppy and won't leave her alone about it. What do you think I should tell her? Maybe I should talk to Victor and adopt the darn thing myself. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, you can't, like, no matter how you try and disable this thing. There's got to be a way, but maybe there's not, I guess. But it looks like there is. Maybe that's just to keep you looking for it. Ingram? This building's a mess. I hope the agitator's still here. I have it. I, like, I just got it. What's the problem? 
I just have to finish re oh I have to finish with security so something security wise is still active mm, okay let's find it let's trigger it and then we can deal with it where is it I don't see anything like I fought everything out here that door isn't open Pretty sure I already tried this one. Yeah. All of our rides have been disabled. Because it's active. Alright. Where is what I'm missing here? Maybe in here? Oh, turret. Dang, it's a dang turret. Dang it. Dang you. Dang machine. Alright, is that it? Did we get it? Is there more? What do you think, Proctor? What you thinking there, Miss Ingram? Missy Pooh? Alright, come on. Oh. Oh, no! Whole building's hostile at this point. Whole building. I would not be surprised if the walls started attacking us in this dang place. Potato and some double daggers. Eggy! Wait, I'm gonna hit you. Boom! Eat my electricity. Oh, good. Gotta go down. Uh, the Institute must have sent reinforcements. I'll you don't you say. Out. Just make sure you get the agitator out of here. I ain't leaving y'all. No, I ain't no. I ain't like that. We got this. For the Brotherhood! Once we get through the door. down there sir sir excuse me well it's hard to hit you down in there with this gun that I'm using here this is a little more specific there we go why were you hiding in the elevator I don't understand hey you they vaporized him. He was a senior scribe. He was just doing his his, his duty. You bastards. You bastards, you killed Kenny. Only it's not Kenny. Well, it could be. We don't know their names. 
I could have been, hit their name could have been Kenny. It could happen. I don't see why it couldn't. I, he could have any name in the world. He could have been named Petunia. Look, it's another one. We lost people. I'm so sad. Come on, Ada. I was able to keep the Institute from getting their hands on the Beryllium Agitator. Glad to see you're still in one piece. What ended up happening at Mass Fusion? Thanks to your help, our forces managed to take the building with very little resistance from the synths. We've posted a garrison there, and they'll keep the place under guard for the time being. Anyway, we shouldn't stand around here talking. We've got a lot of work to do. Well, this is it. Moment of truth. We've pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow, and make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. I've checked every wire and every bolt on the big guy. All we need to do is plug in the agitator, start Prime's reactor, and cross our fingers. This works. How long before Liberty Prime will be ready for battle? The reaction should be almost instant. He'll be running under his own power in a matter of seconds. Look, I discussed it with Elder Maxon, and we think you should be the one who has the honor of starting Liberty Prime. Just plug the beryllium agitator into his reactor port, then head back down here and press the transfer button. Good luck, Paladin. Add Victorium. Ready for this? Fusion core reinitialized. Liberty Prime. All system analysis. All systems powerful. Weapons. Fight. Mission. The destruction of any and all Chinese communists. The probability of Chinese victory is impossible. Brotherhood. Salute. And Victoria. Proceeding. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows where a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place all this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose your gift Oh! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign Yeah, there's no mercy 
in this world just hunger thirsty persons in different versions each do what they that shit worsens why pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin we all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance y'all do me a favor don't treat me like a neighbor don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor i've got my own issues i need a comb to get through don't need to groan with you just go get your wrong tissue I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign That's it, the end of the song Next time you'll sing along Trust me, there's nothing wrong I just need to carry on Cause society's a myth Put there to make you sit Listen to what they give Don't ask questions, shut your lid Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid I need to run away from this And go get off the grid Feel like my brain is overloaded, man I'm losing it Don't let them tell you what to do, man They don't know shit I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up Build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep wonder but my body won't decay Cause my messages are timeless So they'll put them on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity For everyone internally I had some people burning me But now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with
Give me the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my words Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to me Far from anxiety, I need my space I need my privacy, I need some silence Please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently Thrown across every surface It makes me nervous Is the world honestly burning? That's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn And start reversing All our minds, we put the work in We got some work, man Life is a nuisance, types no sense. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. A place like this, it didn't exist, we made it like this. So you can go pick the bad of the good, got a glass halfway. I know it's easier to hide and just to lay low. Not everyone in life has got a halo. I'm standing in the red inside a play phone. Just wanna break, no. I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Win. No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you, we died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop off fast to the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn apart I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wore a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the mat, gonna see where I'm at I'ma fight like I'm mad, I'ma be something that They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty
that you never guess I don't slack, don't lose, learn your lesson yet When I get to choose what I do, I'm like a weapon I'm as sharp as many, but got hard I'm ready to change scars to envy to win Large and plenty, I like to play fast Never change back, calling, calling out I'll pay back, cause I'm great at that all oh. You gave those muties at Fort Strong something to think about. Elder Maxon? The mission is proceeding as planned, Paladin. Well done. Our next target is the reactor. If anything tries to slow us down, I'm ordering you to destroy it. Man or machine. Once we reach our target, you'll need this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Attach it to the reactor, and it can be detonated remotely from a safe distance. It will be more than enough. To annihilate the Institute in its entirety. Ingram, you're to remain here and teleport us out when the job is done. Get that thing working. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, nah, f likely. I be taking shots, yeah, cold blooded, icy. Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing. In the front row, run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running sh right, see. And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain, uh. Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a name I just wanna be famous 
But I don't want that cheap fame No, I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness Take a loss, well I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah I commit And no I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent And it's only a percent I'm gonna take shots if I miss all, forget it I'll take a fat loss just to learn all that's in it I'm taking snapshots, learning how to fall and get it I'm getting back up, always stand tall, don't sweat it I never back up, I don't miss a thing, I'll regret it I'm always learning, you could call me academic I'm always working, never been apathetic That energy is like a poison, need some antiseptic <laughs> So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better days Living life, every day not okay, all I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days, yeah, all I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days, but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something. I don't really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm 
Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed but you keep me on red Oh. Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a time Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats in the street You don't understand the pain of breath You don't ever wanna give me wind You don't ever wanna set me free But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being a monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something I wanna feel 
only you can't reach it. The security override can only come from the director's terminal. You'll need to access his quarters. Picking up something. You're going to regret this. I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Well, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me, then cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? It's for the greater good. The Commonwealth deserves to determine its own fate. Spare me. You've spent time up there. You know as well as I that it's doomed. Well... None of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Why would I ever consider helping you? Help me, and we can try and minimize the casualties in all this. You want your people to survive, don't you? Very well. The terminal behind me. Enter access code 90. Zero. Three. That will disable some of the synths. Now go. Just... leave me. should be clear to the reactor. And I am happy to report that reinforcements have arrived. Sean? Just get out. There's Evacuation nothing more to say. Evacuation order issued. Authorization one. I wish there was some other way. You've made that impossible. The Commonwealth can have only one fate now. Son? Just... Get out. There's nothing more to say. Are you in any pain? Yes, of course. But that will end soon enough, won't it? All thanks to you.
Target down. What is that? Over here! Something's out there. Sensor reading. Hostile sensor. Oh, blow the man down. Blow the man down. Transport us out of here Heads immediately. Up. I'd be happy to help if I can. Find Thank you for your cooperation. Proctor Ingram, it's time to teleport us out. Sorry, Elder, I would, but... Well, Attention this child personnel. showed up. Evacuation he claims to be the paladin's son, sir. Authorization 1YR31. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation Please, Mom, point. don't leave me here! Thank I want to go with you! Alright. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Now let's get out of here. I'm glad you are here to save me. Attention all personnel. Evacuation order issued. Authorization 1. Alright. Fire it up. One. Everything looks green. System's warmed up and ready to go if you are. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm going to send you and Elder Maxon directly to the detonation site. I'll make sure the kid gets some new clothes and reaches the airport safely. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Please proceed to your assigned evacuation point. Thank you for your cooperation. Dr. Ingram has assured me that we'll be outside the blast radius. Press that button, and you not only defeat our enemy, you restore order and decency to the Commonwealth. It's time, Paladin. The Institute and their synth abominations must be eradicated. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. I did it for the people of the Commonwealth. You truly have become one of us, sister. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. It means we still have a long road ahead if we're to ensure the safety of the Commonwealth and her people. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. Look alive. Yes. Glad to be... Paladin. I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escape the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats.
Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions. Both past... and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad victorium, Sentinel. And that'll be it for today. Can't wait for next time. Bye.